welcome to the first video on this channel. So it's probably going to be followed by D.I. Richard Paul didn't die. Wow. So I've got, so I've got some evidence. Good evidence? Okay, evidence, not much evidence. So, I think all you guys are probably confused. Well, who's D.I. Richard Paul? Wow. Okay, so basically, D.I. Richard Paul was the first detective in Death in Paradise, which is a UK TV show which has been on there since 2011 and it's still going right now which is cool so basically this is spoilers so don't watch if you don't want to get spoiled but in season 3 episode 1 detective inspector Richard Paul is shown to be murdered his body was found at a college reunion party he was at but only had like an ice pick stabbed into his heart so Helena Sasha Moore's sister she pretended to be Sasha after Sasha died in a car accident and killed him because Richard figured out she wasn't who she said and went to the party to prove her theory. Helena somehow knew he was under her and she and I put her wife, I was supposed to say her husband, but anyway, she and her husband was why to kill him. So the story like it seemed really straightforward. There are some inconsistencies so to say. So the first one I put here is OK Evidence, this one here. How did she know? So, I want to know how did Helena figure out Richard knew what he had found? Because it is implied that they've barely spoken. So, yeah, I put that as OK Evidence because she's not a detective and not Richard. So, the next one, I put it in yellow, which is not to the best evidence. Okay, so I put, why didn't he shout for help? And the reason I put is, so, because during the episode, I'll just hit myself, my phone. But basically, during the episode, there was a moment where there was a full murder taking place, I don't know, you know, in the ice pick. And, um, there's a moment in which he could have shouted out. Like something, but he didn't. Which I don't know. It seemed a bit weird. Definitely. So the next one I put as okay evidence. Now I so I put here. Why didn't he tell his team about it? So surely he would have like told his colleagues, well colleagues, who he also considered friends about his suspicions, because. I mean, that's what you do, isn't it? But I don't know the person in person. So, yeah. And then I thought, how did he figure out it wasn't Sasha? So, this ties into the first point, which is why I put it as okay evidence, because Richard is a detective. But literally, they hadn't spoken for years, and they did it like for barely a moment. And I put here. This could have been down to his brilliant detective work though. So then we move on to the next one, which I put as OK evidence. Why did he have his back towards them? So, he said before that anyone can, can, anyone can commit murder. So why would he have his back turned to the group when he knows that one of them has already stolen their sister's identity? And um, in season 1 to 2, there's no instance of him facing away from the group he's with and he's like sitting next to him not like talking to someone next one I put this as not the best evidence I don't really think it is but still some kind of means why didn't Fidel show Diego his own camera or doing the autopsy but I said I know Fidel doesn't usually show the autopsies I think don't quote me on that but I think it would be really important to like show Camille at least to make sure like he's not coming back We'll get into why I think that later. This one. This is the first good evidence. Because I think this is a really good evidence. Zoom in. They don't take a picture of his body. So. It seems like they don't take a picture of his dead body at all. Because. Um, in their like office. They have this whiteboard. Which they put the pictures on. And usually they have the victim. Like dead body. Which they put on the board. But in Richard Paul's case. It was. 
a picture of him very much alive, just in black and white. Oh, that is strange. So yeah, that's why I put that as good evidence. So yeah, next one. Why did the writers kill him off? So if Ben Miller, the actor, had ever decided to return, it could be like a cameo where they all are kind of get together. I think it was definitely a business opportunity missed and like many people have said that the show died when Richard did. Well, I mean, I don't think it does, but I definitely think the third season wasn't the best. Mm. Okay. Next point. Why didn't they show his funeral? I thought this was good evidence because like even none of his friends wanted to go or the commission wouldn't let them travel to England for it or it did not happen. There's no mention of it. I just think it's a bit strange. Um, so next we've got the book. So what Richard does is he brings a book to the party. And the show shows him trying to read the book, but it's in French, and Richard doesn't like the French. So he, so he just took that book to go his point, but I think it's a bit weird that he didn't bring another book for him to read. Maybe it's because he seems suspicious to others, I don't know. None of his friends seem upset is the next one. And I put this one as okay evidence. I mean, it should be good evidence actually, I might change that. So, they just lost a friend they've known for three years because each season is based a year apart due to what they said in the series and little hints that it is. So, so they've known Richard for three years and become friends with him and like they're hardly upset. So like the show implied that Camille and Richard liked each other but the only time she seemed upset is at the beginning where like they show her having like a breakdown but she still doesn't cry and also the commissioner who i have many problems with smiles when he introduces humphrey to the team which i don't know seeing as richard paul was such a good detective he stopped richard from going back to england would you think he would smile i don't know maybe he's just trying to be friendly maybe that's i think that's why i put it as a good event snapped on why did the eye give arrive so soon? I, I, I think this one and this one should be like purple or something. I think it's like really good evidence. Because basically, it is implied that Humphrey, which is the yeah, Goodman, the new detective, arrives on the day of the murder. So I research and it takes 8 hours, 45 minutes to fly from the UK to Guadeloupe where they film the show. But it's actually filmed, but it's actually like set on this fictional island called St. Marie. So that's, but that's not including the packing, like in the airport and any delays. And they would have had to inform Humphrey and ask his senior officers if he would be able to come to the island. Next one, the ice pick. Here I put, like, how did none of them see her take the ice pick with her and not return with it? I think it's a bit weird. Like, I think I would notice if someone had an ice pick with them. You know? Okay, yeah. So the next one I put is they never show. Now, oh, this one, this one could also be purple because they never show the paramedic the body or take it away. So to me, it seemed a bit odd that they never show the paramedics take the body away unlike all the other episodes in the series every single one of them shows the paramedics taking the body away but in this one they don't is it because there wasn't one to take away hmm so yeah so this one so the next one where's the mouse so the next one is i won't replace it but this is okay evidence because i think I'm not sure, but in the episode, the team keeps saying that Humphrey isn't here to replace Richard. I mean, he is. So, like, why would they say that if you know he's dead? Mm, I'm not actually changing it to yellow. I don't think that's the best evidence there is. 
Um, whoops. I just want the one computer. That one, yes. Aha. Mission complete. Okay, so I've got. So why would he fake? Uh, why would he fake his death? Which is something I think is a good thing to ask. So basically, the main reason I can think of is that he wanted to go back to England. I think, so I thought this because in Season 1, Episode 8, he is told he can go back to England and can have his, and have his old dog back. But the commissioner tells him the day he's supposed to call, and the commissioner got the message like ages ago. And he's really excited to go back, and when he fails to make the call in time, because the commissioner tricks him, because Richard can't get any signal, the commissioner does when Richard asks him if he has any signal, he goes, same signal, yeah, that's right, signal, um, the commissioner goes, no. And, like, he seems, like, really upset with the commissioner. Or, like, it could be that he should have accepted that, the yeah, I probably done enough and had like a test to see if DI if DI could to see if DI Humphrey Goodman is God enough or good enough. Ignore my spellings. Enough to tackle all the murders that happen in St. Marie. Although it could be something else. And I think that the thing about the test is good. Uh ten percent. Um so I think that the thing about the test is good because when Richard arrives, he's investigating the murder of D.I. Charlie Hume. So we we get like a very little screen time of because he dies. But I think I think it's really similar. Like none of them seem upset. There's no funeral. I don't think they do the ferry medal because the body. So I think that would be like a good thing. So basically, in conclusion, there are too many inconsistencies for Richard to have been murdered. And in the name of Richard Paul, there are no coincidences or inconsistencies in murder. Boom. Hope you enjoyed this really cringy first YouTube video, as most are. Got my amazing, my absolute amazing... You know what? I think this is good. Yeah. Um, so yes. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Or dislike it if you don't. You can do that. I just don't like it in general. I don't like when ten people. Like, oh my gosh, who's going to recommend it? But yeah. Welcome to YouTube. Um, bye.